Dr. Chol Kim in sunny San Diego, California, although it's been raining cats and dogs lately. I just got back from a big meeting, the North American Spine Society in Boston, where we showed off all the latest, greatest technologies. And we are way ahead of the pack. We have a 61 year young ER nurse from Apple Valley. She's part of the prime healthcare system, so she's family. And she's got this bondy. Look at that. Almost a grade two, but still a grade one. And the MRI shows all the discs are practically normal. I'm very jealous. I wish my spine looked that good. Except at four or five, where there's obvious spondy. Look at how much better it gets when she lays down and relaxes. Because the x rays are where you're standing. And the MRI, you're laying down and kind of over time resting because it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to get this image. And even with it partially reduced, look how much stenosis she has. And when she stands up and that anterolisthesis gets worse with standing, that stenosis gets even worse. So she has both back pain and neurogenic claudication. She's failed none of her treatment, so we're going to do my favorite surgery, the MIST lift using the sexiest cage alive, computer-assisted navigation, and the winning black belt team color coordinated and ready to do the perfect job. All right, this is one where against the wheel would have been very difficult. Just kept sliding off the side and kind of hard to make this handle. That's where the birds are also. Obviously, very difficult to do this without navigation. Another example of a pedicle that would be very difficult to cannulate would be James Look at that, it's, it's, the wall is just vertical. Surgery's all done. We did it through those two little incisions. It went so well, and you're gonna be so much taller. So we're all hoping for a great result, right, guys? Yeah! Best wishes for a speedy recovery. Woo!